and sequence. Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks so very much for taking the time to stop by. I was thinking of something incredible. Just exploded and arrived inside of my crazy mind. DNA, right? Um, there's a time capsule that they brought up to the space station. They brought up a memory device. This is very interesting. And it's actually called, um, the term they use is immortality drive. The Immortality Drive is a large memory device they took up to the International Space Station in a Soyuz spacecraft. This was October 12, 2008. The Immortality Drive contains fully digitalized DNA sequences of select groups of humans. Okay, so they have Stephen Hawking's DNA sequence stored on uh, in the time capsule in the space station. A memory machine. A memory device we don't know what it is a computer obviously something but it just why am I mentioning this it's because for me it's it's always been a fascination that I want to share with you it always gets me and now we're hypothetically speaking here but it gets my mind going thinking wow if a real world could have been manipulated you know a real DNA manipulated species you know and put on a planet where you know they could adapt, etc. You know, it's the more I think of it, the more it makes darn sense. I'm just having that creepy little feeling that imagine if we're from in a time capsule and, you know, the first person on earth was actually um, a person's DNA sequence that was in a box stored in a spaceship, for example, that was from the other cataclysm. Activating DNA human sequence. As many for some, this could be very funny. It opens many minds or those who are you know seeking truth um, looking at the whole possibility I think is also important we each have our own beliefs yes but I wouldn't rule out the fact that uh, maybe we're not a manipulated species I know it's a, bit, a little touchy for some of you so I'm, I'm you know but <clears throat> maybe on the moon the species that's there is a manipulated species. This is just a video for, um, you know, to let the mind wander. Some people like doing so, some people don't. I just like keeping an open mind and not basing my findings and or beliefs on any religion or uh, anything. I'm just basing it on common sense and on what my eyes are seeing. I just feel the whole big secret is something um, beyond our imagination and it's not just something that one person can comprehend entirely himself or herself. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm about ready to go check out the surface of the moon. It took two or three minutes to share that with you. I thought it was pretty exquisite and I'm pretty sure some of you didn't know that the space station was holding that type of uh, time capsule. Did you all know that there was also one on Earth? I won't get into it, but most of you probably know about it. There's a place where there's all the seeds of vegetation and plants that are already on Earth. So, I mean, we're ready, right? When it pops, if anyone, if one person's alive in charge of all this, well, so be it. They'll be able to start it all over again. We are looking now at la surface de la Lune, the surface of the Moon. An amazing object that is not too far from Earth and apparently locked in position, yet never in the same place. And of course, we're looking at Flavius Crater and that bridge like object at the back. Look at that, guys. Seriously. Get an arrow up on it here. We're going to zoom up closer to try to see it. Look at that stretch coming out. We can almost see what it looks like. Even pylons holding that sucker up. So check it out guys, the line of light of course is just underneath Clavius Crater, the bottom of the moon, 
and look at all the craters that are around Clavius Crater. This is actually one of the first times that I've ever seen them ever so clearly, and we're going to zoom into that darn supposed bridge-like looking object at the back. Now in this zoom up, there's actually two UFOs that go by in the bottom. I can't find them. I lost the little buggers of a light. That's how hard they are to see the ones that are close to the surface, but maybe you guys will see it. And it's around right here. It's passing over this crater at one point, and you can see little lights pass over these little bloody craters. It's very real. Yeah, the moon's inhabited. I know it. I know it for a fact, and I'm going to scream it out as loud as I can. I'm going to try to get as many people in the world to see that we weren't told the truth. That's a fact. So I'm really happy about these craters at the bottom of Clavius Crater because we're seeing some exquisite detail of the crater's edges and walls and rims and um, that just, it's boggling my mind that all these constructed objects, they're mining or they're pulling something out or it's a way to travel across and everywhere to and from or they're sending liquids through it gases air something through it is definitely something uh you know being spread out across um spanning across the entire moon from crater to crater all these pipes 90 degree angles the proof is there so why aren't we believing it that's what i'm not understanding it's because the scientific bullshit that some of the people pretending to be scientists are bringing up and it's the real scientists that are the ones bullshitting i think i think the, the amateur scientists are using more common sense and trying more to be to honestly find truth in what they're doing but you know we just have to go with what the, those bloody scientists say they'll come on television turn around and say well it's ejecta that's it and that's where it stays and that's where the world remains and only a little pocket of people, me, us, will try to seek the truth, but that's okay. We're going to find it. Now guys, when you go to astronomy channels, you'll see someone filming the moon for two, three, four hours or filming Mars for a couple of hours in, in a row, which I don't understand. But anyways, they don't see anything or they'll tell you, peel your eyes, keep your eyes peeled, be looking for UFOs. Now I'm telling you, this is the footage that I do my research in and zoom in to get these UFOs. So UFOs are going by in front of our faces right now. They're pressed up against the surface. You're looking for little lit white slits that are going by over the black edges of the craters. And that's how I'm finding them. So I'm telling you right now, keep your eyes peeled when we're zoomed up close um, into the craters really close. It's that one little light that can go by the black edge of the crater that you could see and that's how I'm finding them you know I talked about the DNA at the beginning you know making people's minds open up and realize that hey could there be another spaceship somewhere else I mean we got the space station our own spaceship floating up over earth holding digitalized DNA sequences Clavius crater and the surrounding craters blankness and so on and so forth every one of them they're all a setup all a setup we're going to zoom in very slow to this frame um to this um part clip that i slowed down very slow it's very clear there's no wobble there's no shake it's all just clarity so we're seeing i'd say about 10 15 percent maybe even 20 percent more detail than i usually see with my 14 inch telescope and watch this we're going to zoom in i'm going to show you that object that I say looks like a bridge, whatever it may be, I'm just gonna to point to it, but there's something underneath that no one's gonna be able to explain to me. Underneath the bridge that I'm gonna to point to you right now, there's a rectangular square with symmetrical geometrical shapes on it that look like buildings or whatever, blocks. There's that bridge-like object, and now what's this? Look, perfect line square. Look at all the bumps inside them. As we're going in, you can rewind it, you can slow it down, pause it and look at it. It ain't normal and you can hardly see it, but now we're seeing it because of the reflection of the darkness is creating a shadow around its contours and we're able to see it. What the hell is it? It's geometrical, it's rectangular, it's running onto Clavius Crater 
and southwards, downwards under Clavius Crater. And that is just incredible detail right there that we're seeing as we're zooming up here real close. Let's check it out. Now, don't forget, look for UFOs. Look for little lights now that we're slowed down going over especially this crater in particular. Are you seeing the bumps yet over here? Look on the rectangle. It's a square with shapes on them. And the shapes are all side by side. Each of the objects are side by side. They're all connected to lines that are going up into Clavius Crater. So these could be tanks, you know, holding containers, something, fuel, uh, who knows? It's right there. And we can't see it unless we slow down the oscillation. And now we're getting so close so that all the white's gonna blare up. So now we're gonna focus on the bottom right here, part of the um, crater. We'll try to zoom in really close and never mind the white part on top. Look at the square here in that crater. It's just incredible. So we'll just keep going in a bit. It'll get a little blurry, but focus your eyes on the bottom part where it's darker. Um, that's how a telescope works. You're zooming in on certain areas. You'll lose quality in maybe a corner of the photo, but look what you can see in certain areas, like the bottom, for example. Guys, thanks a lot for stopping by. There are UFOs in this footage. I'll be finding them this week. I'll be looking for sure, slowing it down even more. It's tedious, but it's all there. Thanks for the support, everyone. And remember, we are not alone.